Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. BBN, Jack Frost, what's up, party people? Hey, before this video we will continue, hit that like button, subscribe, and join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. All right, so for everybody that's been wondering about those KK updates, I got one for you. And it, it doesn't look good for your boy. Everybody that want him to come home, drop that, drop that mixtape. Do some shows. I just don't think you're going to see it anytime soon. All right. So the latest uh, thing that happened as far as the whole case that went on. Remember the case that because he's involved in a couple of different situations down there. So I'm going to be a little bit more specific. Remember the case that involved him and uh, <laughs> some of his people's robbing the trap house. Well, just for everybody that don't know, I'll give you a real quick update, a real quick uh, reminder. It was always, it was reported. It's actually with six of them. It was three guys, including TK. So that's three guys, two guys in TK. And it was three females. One of the females, we never saw her picture because she was underage at the time. So they don't reveal her identity. She was 16 years old at the time of the crime. She has been sentenced. She also is being said to have been the mastermind of the whole entire plot. It was her plan. Supposedly, she was dating one of the men that lived at the trap house that she also lived at. Go figure. And she was setting them up to get robbed. And on top of that, this wasn't the first time she actually attempted to uh, set these guys up to get robbed a time before. But for whatever the reason was it didn't pan out so this time she was attempting to get them robbed and you know everybody knows how the story goes they had the girls was inside it was her and two other girls were inside and they were you know just running around doing you know whatever and um running back and forth from room to room and when the guys stopped paying attention one of them Went to the front door, left it unlocked where Tay K and his two peoples was able to come in and then, you know, do whatever they was going to do to get that bread. So she has been sentenced and they have given her 20 years. Now, take into consideration, this is a little white girl. They say that she's blonde haired and petite. She's a little white girl. And when she committed the crime, she was 16. And they gave her 20 years. And this is Texas. I can't imagine the numbers that they're going to give the guys. These guys, I mean, the dude that pulled the trigger, he's most likely getting a life or death sentence. But I don't even know what. I mean, if, if you're never coming out, that's the death sentence anyway. You know what I'm saying? So it's whatever you want to call it. So the guy that actually pulled the trigger, he's probably finished, period. For everybody that don't all the way recall what was happening, uh, on the way out, they were looking for whatever they was trying to get. Um, either they didn't get anything, whatever the case is, on the way out, one of the gentlemen that lived in the house had got shot and he ended up dying. And another gentleman that lived in the house ended up getting to the neighbor's house. Why we think he was wounded, he ended up getting to the neighbor's house where they were able to call the police. So if he doesn't get away, who knows? Maybe they don't, uh, I mean, these are young guys. Maybe they still get caught. But, um, so that's 20 years. So everybody that's wanting TK to come home and do whatever, you know, drop some music or whatever the case might be. Y'all might be, y'all might be, you know, waiting about 25 to 30 years for this. Because if, if they gave some little white girl, some little blonde head most likely blue eyed petite white girl 20 years you can just imagine what they're going to give everybody else these dudes these dudes and, and those chicks they're about to get them numbers they're about to give them faint in court numbers 
That's what they about to get. You ever see when you see people get sentenced and they be having it all over YouTube? Somebody gets sentenced and then they just fall out and faint? They gonna get dumb numbers. They said when a young girl was giving her 20 years, she um started acting up. Started cursing out the 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 um prosecuting attorneys, the, the the DA. She started cursing out the DAs or whatever, you know, cursing everybody out, yelling, screaming, they had to remove her. She was 16 when it was committed. She's probably about 17 now. She's not going to see the light of day till she about 35. No, and that's probably with good behavior. She ain't going to see the light of day. She locked up all of her formidable years over some doing some foolishness. And then on top of that with somebody that didn't, didn't know not to shoot people. Because nine times out of ten, if they just robbed the place, they don't shoot nobody. You know, as long as, you know, they've, you know, <laughs> the cops don't get involved. It's like, you, if you run in the trap house, you can't go to the cops and tell, tell, tell people you got robbed. That ain't gonna work. And then, uh, even more so, her trying to, you know, play to the sympathies of the court. She was saying that she was, you know, being human trafficked, you know, basically, she was forced to uh, service men and women. I mean, I don't know, but she was saying she was forced to service human beings she, against her will. So if the courts wasn't going to go for that, was going to give her any sympathy for that, you could just imagine what they're going to give these, these young black men. And I'm not saying that they don't deserve it. And I'm not saying that they do deserve it. I'm just saying, just looking at it in a vacuum, they're going to get that young white girl 20 years. You can just imagine what they're going to get to everybody else. And I, I hear what a lot of y'all say. Take K, he wasn't the guy that shot the dude. The other guy shot it. Well, first of all, remember, Take K's fighting other cases also. And besides the fact that Take is also fighting other cases, remember, this is America. If in the act of a crime, in the act of the commission of a crime, someone dies, you are held responsible. Because it's the court's belief that that person would not have died if not for you committing this crime. So if you are part of a crime that's being committed or other crimes that happen that's related to that crime, you are also responsible for. If the police are chasing you and you want to... You you in a, uh, a, a high speed chase and the police are chasing you and the police hit somebody else and killed them. And it's because they're chasing you. You are held responsible for that crime. So when you say take care and shoot the dude, it was the other guy. Yeah, it was the other guy. But it was in the commission of a crime that take care was involved in. I don't know what to say. It's a sad thing. That, that young boy ain't even he ain't even get a chance. He ain't even get a chance. I mean, obviously, I don't know how his home life was or whatever was going on before all of this happened. But, you know, if you got good stuff going on at home, you're most likely not involved in the stuff that he was involved in. Let's just keep it a buck. Anyway, that's all I got on this one. Let me know what y'all guys think about this. Um, I know a lot of y'all... Take a fans, I love the kid. Um, I think he had some stuff up on Billboard. So some of his some of his uh tracks was really banging for a minute there. If if the record companies have their way, he'd be out on the streets tomorrow. So maybe somebody could get involved and grease a couple palms and and oh, one more thing I want to mention. Y'all uh, for everybody that doesn't understand, the reason why they gave that young girl them 20, them 20 right on her head, bang. Is because they don't want to go to trial with everybody. They don't want to take everybody to trial. I mean, I know that's what people believe. Oh, man, they want to take everybody to trial. So they can get the stiffest penalties as possible. Nah, they want some of these dudes to just plead out. That's what they want. They get that young girl 20. She was the mastermind behind it. It was her old whole plot, her whole plan. And then they, now they're going to probably go to other people and offer them like 15. 
Now, we gave her 20 bonds. She got to do those 20, but we'll offer you 15 to 20. No, we're good, we're, we're good, we're good, uh, we're good behavior, but you're out in 12. Some kind of weird number like that. Because they already know they're going to get convicted. Believe me, if they convicted this young little white girl, they already know they're getting convicted. And they already know they're ready to throw big numbers at people. So they convict one guy. And now they're going to go and they're going to talk to everybody else. And see if they could just get him to plead out so they don't got to deal with this mess no more. They can move on to other business. That's just my thoughts, though. I could be wrong. Anyway, that's all I got on this one. Please, leave some comments below. I want to know what y'all think about this. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombs. Let's get it. Yo, look, I love y'all. Keep each other safe. And, yo, please, everybody out there, all of y'all young people out there, get something going on better than, better than trying to do hood shit. Seriously. That's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.